Hello everyone and welcome back to Metal Gear Solid 2. We're at part 8 where last time we got to the Shell 2 uh, opening. If I go into our lovely map here, we are about to go into the Shell 2 core. So we've killed some drones outside, we're waiting outside to go get Mr. President. So we're going to go straight in, let's go for it. Air purification room. My father had some unfinished business with him. Olga, calm yourself. Okay. Back to having Olga again. Then screw your plan. I've been waiting for this day for two. And I will send him to the bottom of the ocean, right next to my old man. The launch comes first. Damn it. Where is Ocelot? Not here. I don't trust him. Don't talk that way about one of your own. He's not one of my own. He left my father to die, remember? Olga, we'll talk later. We need to get started on the final checks for the unit. All right. I'm headed back there. The upper connecting bridge to Shell 1 is down. What about the chopper? The cab off is out of action. Take the oil fence from Strut Elm. I'll tell my men to start pulling out. Not yet. Their retrieval comes last. The intruder's still at large. Snake. What about the other man? He's got luck on his side, certainly. He survived that explosion. Listen, Olga, the code confirmation is in one hour. Keep the president alive until then. I know. No one gets in here. Turn the currents on. Of course. Not if I shoot her in the head with a tranquilizer bullet. I've oh. The door stays shut unless the president manages to take out that circuit panel from inside the room. And it's no job for bare hands. All right. Come back immediately. One more thing. What? <clears throat> we leave for Russia when this business is done. I want half the money for that. Of course, that was part of the agreement. We start living for ourselves after this. If there's anyone who wants to stay here, I want you to take good care of them. Gladly. Gerlukovich soldiers are the cream of the crop. It's time they went free. What happened to rebuilding Mother Russia? The old man is dead. The world is a different place now. It's your life. Just as a reminder, I'm going to say this again, one last time. Don't try anything on us. The feeling is mutual. That's alright, Ocelot will betray both of you. So you got nothing to worry about. I'm in front of the room where they're keeping the president. Everything alright? No sign of flooding, but I can't get close to the door. The floor is electrified. Don't test it. You'll be bacon. <laughs> Any suggestions? Remember the Shadow Moses VR training. Take out the circuit panel? Right. But there's no way into the room. Try ventilation ducts. Yeah, I think I see one. Look for a remote control missile launcher. You can guide it through the duct into the room. Yeah. Then target the circuit panel. Got it. Okay. Right. But make sure you don't hit the president. <laughs> the president is wired with nano machines. If we know the frequency, I can raise him. We've tried that repeatedly, but there's no response. It looks like the walls have a built in radio shield. So that's why Ames lost contact with him. If you need to confirm his position, you can log into the node. Understood. Locate a remote control missile launcher first. Remote control missile launcher to shoot out of a vent. <laughs> I was wondering when we were going to see Olga again. Uh, tra changes to snake. Cool. Snake, do you know where I can find some remote controlled missiles? Remote controlled missiles? I saw something on B1 in the core of Shell 2. But be careful. Contaminated seawater's broken out of the tanks thanks to that explosion. Most of B1 is probably flooded by now. Alright, B1. 
Naturally. Um, uh, we'll talk to the colonel once more. The only way to the president is past this electrified floor. Use the remote controlled missile to destroy the power source. That will cut off the high voltage current to the floor. Go and pick up the remote controlled missile. It should be in the B1 level of Shell 2's core, according to that man. Get it now. According to that man. Why won't he acknowledge that it's Snake? Literally sounds exactly like him. So the floor is electrified. Uh, so that floor specifically is the electrified floor. So I can walk around these. I can walk down here. I just can't go this way. Because we have big electric floor to get to the door. Okay, cool. Just, uh, just get like little sticky things and crawl along the wall. Little suction cups on your hands. Okay. Well, there's the uh, rockets for the launcher. Before I look for vents, I'm just having a look around everywhere else first. We do want to lock into the node. Doesn't seem like it's, um... Doesn't seem like it's, uh, you know, very well guarded. As soon as I said that, I've got... I've got rockets. Now, is this ammo? I think that's ammo, though. Yeah, it is. It's, I think that says ammo on it. Yeah, it says ammo. Cool. So, we won't come in here yet, because I will use a... Maybe I'll just use, like, a chaff grenade or something. Like, like that. Um, so I'll wait until, wait until I have the rocket launcher before I use that. Alright, let's log into the node, baby. Yeah, not very well guarded here. We just had Olga and an electric floor. So, curious. Okay. Hang on, we do have someone. Oh, that's the president. Do. Oh, interesting. Can we communicate with him through the wall? Huh? Yes. Buddy, hello. Let's have a conversation. What was that? Let's have huh? a chat. Morse code. Hello. My name Jack. I'm codename Raiden. Friend with Snake and Ames. I'm gonna shoot a big old missile launcher in that room in a second, so you better just stay out of the way, my man. Okay. Ah, the elevator. Cool. To be one. Love that, Enforce Fall. I love that he's like, oh yeah, someone's knocking on the door and that's it. Okay, so. It's elevator time, baby. Prez in the top left corner. So he's got a little bit of, a little bit of life. So in other words, if you hit him with the rockets once, he dead. All right, bottom one. Filtration chamber. All right. Have we got people down here? Oh, I've got to get a node in here as well. I miss having a disguise. That was fun. Generous. They're generous with the node. Maybe... Is this a swimming segment? Because it's flooded? That's cool. Makes sense why there wouldn't be anyone down here then. Unless they got underwater guys. Huh. Alright. Swimming segment? Yeah. Can't I just put my um my little underwater mask on that I had from the from the beginning? Colonel, B1 is completely flooded from what I can see. You'll have to swim through. <coughs> Swimming isn't my strong point. It wasn't a part of the VR training either. When you're on the surface, you can swim in corresponding directions using the up 
down, left, and right movement of the left stick. Push the punch button to dive down from the surface. Cool. Oh, and yep. <laughs> yep. Stroke the water and move forward by pushing the punch button. You can... Push it in rapid succession to swim faster. Change your heading with the left stick. <coughs> up Sorry, take you me. up, down takes you lower. Left and right to face those directions. The okay. O2 gauge will appear under your life gauge while you're underwater. The gauge corresponds to the amount of air you can hold from a single deep breath. Mm -hmm. Once the O2 gauge falls to zero, the life gauge will start to drop. Mm -hmm. You need to be aware of that. Mm -hmm. Cool. All right. Inverted controls as well, because of course. Um, okay. Ah, oh, those little blue things will be buckets of uh, of air. NVG. Once I actually, yep. Yeah, so cool. Uh, oh, I can walk. Right. Uh, uh, go up, baby. Cool. Um, what is that? Electronically amplifies weak, dim light for visualization. Allows one to see in the dark. Cool. Night vision goggles, baby. Alright, let's keep going. Oh, shit! I thought that was further away. That's so funny. I did, honestly... Aha! There it is. I did think that was further away, so I had more time to pull back, but no, it was right in front of me. You have the remote-controlled missile. Good job. Now head for the first floor of the Shell 2 core. Take out the power source and make contact with the President before the launch code can be reconfirmed. Hurry! Hurry! Yeah, but man... We got more stuff to look at over here. My O2 gauge is running out, so let me just quickly swim like a dolphin and get up. <coughs> we good? Oh my god, rubber ducky. Hello. any of the doors open so it's just a matter of just checking everything out cool up oh, down yep let's go straight ahead yep let's go up while we're here yep you can do it right in there we go back to full let me go this way I think we got something we got something in there before Go down here. Up we go. Swimming like a dolphin. Alright, is there anything in here? Nope. Alright. I think we... I think we're good. Look at him swim. Dude's like, I'm not good at swimming. Fucking swims like a goddamn Olympic swimmer. Alright, so, remote controlled missile and... NVG. God damn. Curious to use that grenade launcher at some point. Alright, this is gonna be this is gonna be interesting. I have not had to guide one of these missiles in a long time. So that's gonna be that's gonna be fun. Let's hope I don't blow up the president. That would be weird. Ah, look at my little wet footprints. Love the details because then if they were guards, they go, huh? Whose footprints are these? All right, Mr. President, it's time for me to shoot a uh, a missile into that room. I did give you a warning, so I oh, know those are the turrets. For a second, I went, hold on a minute. I'll just can I'll just disguise myself as a box. Alright, we got twelve. I can like afford to just chuck one in. Boom, baby. Ah 
Yeah. Cool. Now. This guy. So we're gonna shoot it in here, because it won't let me crawl in there because it's not on the floor. Yeah. Alright. Alright, Ames. I mean, President, not Ames. How about we do something fun and exciting? Oh, yeah, I forget that it doesn't. Um, oh, yep. Oh. Okay. It's alright, 29 more tries. I forget that it does like a little boost. This is where we started. Alright. So we're mapping it out. So instead of going right, we're going to go left! How am I supposed to predict when it's just going to go... And now we boost! <clears throat> I'd rather you didn't boost, please. Up here. Yep, 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 yep. What oh, is that? Yep, just get out of the way, man. Get out of the way. What the hell happened? Right! Right in! I knew that would happen. I was trying to put the camera up so the missile would go up, but it doesn't seem that it wanted to go up, it just stayed on the ground. So maybe it just has to... Maybe it only stays as low down as possible. Alright, well let me get these again then. Hey, yeah. Go. Cool. All right, this time we'll get it because I figured out how to get there. It's weird that there's ammo in there. Like, how am I supposed to pick up the ammo? Do I shoot the ammo with the with the gun? <laughs> I have to stand back a bit more. All right. Oh, I can't use it while uh, the chaff grenade's going off. That makes sense. Okay. So. Oh, God. See, I can, like, look around, but that doesn't actually... So I just have to stay low to the ground and not hit the president when he falls to the floor like an idiot. See, why are they... Alright. Get down, Mr. President. What? What no! Thank you. He took a bit of damage. Um, okay, hold on. I can't make the, the rocket go up in the air. So that's sort of my dilemma here. What, what is that? See, it won't go up. How do I, oh, hang on. Nope, nope. I was like, maybe I'd have to go around to get in the bottom. Keep trying. We'll get there eventually. What, what is that? Just move out of the way. Am I not am I not blowing this thing up? Ryden, make sure the remote controlled missile doesn't injure the president. You want to take out only the power source. Because I assume I have to destroy that that whole panel. There's another there's another box right in front of it, but I don't know if that's what we have to take it. What is that? Yep, I don't know, man. I don't know, Mr. President. No one is just. Sh no one's shooting. No one's shooting rockets here. Oh, my phone's ringing. Hold on. I'm getting an email. I was like, what the hell was that? Fire remote controlled missile from a dark small room on the southwest section. To destroy the electrical electric distribution panel with ease, 
Oh, he gives you tips when you suck. Thank you. Thank you, Deep Throat. So, um, there's, a, there's another... Which makes sense, because then I'll be higher up. That is so much smarter. Well, this is like the small dark room, right? Oh, there's a panel right there. Hmm. That kind of feels like the... That kind of feels like the panel that I was already in, right? What is that? Like, that feels like it's part of the same... But maybe it... Hmm. I don't know. Well, that is the southwest room. Alright, I guess that puts us on, like, a timer of needing to use a chaff grenade and then stick a rocket in there. Can I not just, like, use lethal force against these bad boys? And, like, take them out? Like, we take out the, the UAVs? No. Oh, hang on. Actually, we fucking can. This whole time, I never thought to just shoot out the turrets, you know? Alright, I think we have to blow that one up. We can't just shoot that one open. So I think what I should have to do is I get up on this platform. If it'll let me. For some reason it won't. Can you let me go up on the platform? Alright. And then, I think we're high enough to then... Ah uh ha -huh, It's right there. Okay. So no, we can't we can't blow it open. But this is our new opening. Wonderful. Thanks, Deep Throat. I mean Mr. X. Oh cool, there we go. What? What Get out of the way! Nice. Stop. Love that it just blows up right in front of him. Hell yeah. So he he decides to send you a nice little email instead of just giving you a call. That's funny, I can just imagine him just like sat there like hacked into my eyesight or something and he's just sending me little text messages. Uh, okay, we can go see, we can go see the president now. Nice. Let's go have a chat. This room right here. I might save quickly beforehand. We'll have a chat and then we'll save. Right. The high voltage current flowing to the floor in front of the room that the president's being held in has been cut off. Yes. Head for the first floor of the Shell 2 core. Hurry. Get in touch with the Hurry. president before the nuclear launch code is reconfirmed. Okay. What about you, Snick? Shoot a fire extinguisher and the contents will spew out. It's probably a good way to distract the enemy. If you ever find yourself under pursuit, give it a try. Necessity is the mother of invention. Thank you, sir. Rose. What can I do for you, Jack? You can save my game and then get the hell out of here. Done, baby. You know, Jack, there's Damn it. something that bugs me sometimes. What? Why are you going out with me? Huh? Is it because I'm beautiful? Why are you asking me this all of a sudden? And where do you get off calling yourself beautiful? Well, it's the truth, plain and simple. I'm too smart not to realize it and not sarcastic enough to be modest about it. <laughs> Is that so? Well then, your schedule must be booked solid with dates. No, I love you. I've even you. hired a private secretary to deal with all of them. But she cancels all of my appointments except for yours. Ooh. Sometimes it really does bother me. Sometimes I think all you want is a pretty face to accompany you to parties. What are you- Just to make everyone jealous when they see you with me. You're being ridiculous. Oh really? But you never talk about yourself. I never know whether it's really me you want by your side, whether you'd ditch me if you found someone prettier. You know that's not true. Really? Then would you still go out with me even if I weren't beautiful? Uh, of course. Do you like me for me, or is it my reputation? Do you really think anyone would say your reputation? <sighs> I'm just joking. 
Of course I like you for you. Honest truth. Really? Thank you. Rose, you're beautiful. I love you. Why am I poking my gun out, bro? Just have a chat to him. President Johnson. Johnson. So you're finally here. You've been expecting me? Your equipment, that skull suit, isn't exactly standard military issue. Are you all right, sir? Is this some kind of sick joke? I thought you came to kill me. What? I'm prepared to face the consequences of my betrayal. What are you- oh. Hmm. The fuck? What the- You're a man? <laughs> Well, Inap are you? Inappropriate, man. Foxhound, sir. Inappropriate. Foxhound? What the fuck? <laughs> I see. Now things are starting to make a little sense. <laughs> I'm prepared to face the consequences. And now I must grip you inappropriately, because I'm the president. Switch over to nano communication so nobody can listen in. Yes, sir. Okay, sure. Do you read me, sir? Uh, yes. Mr. President, it's my understanding that the terrorists have managed to input the code sequence necessary for launching a nuclear strike. That's correct. I punched the sequence in myself. You're working for them? If you asked me two hours ago, my answer would have been yes. Right now, they're keeping me alive until my vital signs are reconfirmed. They betrayed you? I wouldn't quite put it that way. I wanted power. They sought destruction. Betrayal. But why stoop to terrorism? I wanted absolute power. But you're the president. You have power. No, I'm just a figurehead. Huh? I don't have any control. The real power is in the Patriots' hands. The Patriots? The truth behind this country. I'm not surprised you've never heard of them. Very few are aware of their existence, even among those with code word clearance. Huh? Politics, the military, the economy, they control it all. They even choose who becomes president. Putting it simply, the Patriots rule this country. No. <laughs> Hard to believe, isn't it? But it's the truth. The space defense, income tax reduction, and national missile defense programs. Every policy that's been credited to me was actually done according to their instructions. Space defense was initiated by Congress. That's what the Patriots want the country to believe. It's all a show. Democracy is just a filler for textbooks. Think about it. Do you actually believe that public opinion influences the government? No. This country is shaped and controlled as the Patriots see fit. The people are shown what they want to believe. What you call government is actually a well-staged production aimed at satisfying the public. Huh? This, this game has aged like very well. I'm legally sane, you know. It's not your sanity that worries me. Kojima has a very good the sort Patriots. of approach to government military storylines. And how to like write it. Political or military leaders. Because it manages to remain relevant. No one knows who the Patriots really are. Even my instructions come from a cutout. All I've been told is that every key decision is made by a group of 12 men, known as the Wise Men's Committee. Your office? The White House? Merely puppets. Pawns in a game. By pledging my loyalty, an insignificant son of a senator was awarded the presidency. Hmm. Of course, that wasn't the only price I had to pay. What do you mean? Even if a pawn becomes a queen, it is still just a playing piece. This is so fucking cool. I wanted cool. to leave my own mark in history, but my ambitions were... You'll understand someday. I wished to be a member of the Patriots. I wanted to wield the power of a king instead of being an expendable pawn. And that justifies acts of terrorism? Yes. I'd intended to use the new Metal Gear as a bargaining chip. Bargaining chip? 
But I underestimated Solidus. Bargaining chip. He wants to challenge the Patriots. The Patriots? Even if it means the destruction of the world. The destruction what of the see? world? Whether you believe it or not, the balance of power rests in the hands of the Patriots. Hands? They regulate the country's various interests through controlled presentation, staging a drama that is palatable to the general masses. Can you imagine what would happen if they ceased to function? Picture a massive political vacuum, a space that every power monger will try to fill for their own greedy ends. I'm talking about an unregulated power struggle, panic, civil war, chaos. Like it or not, the Patriots is an organization that must continue to exist. So you changed your mind because you wanted to avoid global chaos. Exactly. When I told Solidus that I wished to prevent disaster, he replied that pawns can never become players. And who is this Solidus? My predecessor. Yes. George Sears. Oh! That was the name the public came to know him by. I knew him by his code name, Solidus Snake. Yeah, cool. He was the third snake, preceded by Solid and Liquid, a survivor of the Les Enfants Terribles project. Neither Solid nor Liquid. He was a well-balanced masterpiece that the Patriots saw fit to entrust with the presidency. However, he fell out of grace with the organization four years ago. When acting on his own, he started an incident. Four years ago? Shadow Moses! That's right. At the time, the DARPA chief, Donald Anderson, together with certain influential parties, initiated the development of Metal Gear Rex and an advanced nuclear warhead. However, this did not fall in line with the Patriots' plans. What's more, Solidus decided on his own to send his most trusted man, Ocela, to provoke Liquid Snake, bringing about the said incident. As a result, he succeeded in obtaining Rex and the data on the warhead. But in doing so, he ended up revealing the existence of both Rex and the Genome Army, a blunder that earned him the wrath of the Patriots. Shortly thereafter, Solidus was removed from the presidential office. Cool. So I got confused for a little while. Can I? Damn it. I want to pause so I can talk. The Patriots selected me, their new pawn for the presidency. But that would mean that the presidential race was... That was quite a show, wasn't it? It was a well-scripted drama staged by the Patriots for the benefit of the public. Even the Democrats and Republicans were dancing to the Patriots' tune. Everything went according to plan, but for one exception. Sometimes I get, like, points I want to talk about, and I don't want to forget it, because sometimes I can forget it. <laughs> bringing about his untimely death. Capped? Correct. But before the Patriots could execute their plot, Solidus went underground with the help of Ocelot. As he avoided pursuit, Solidus gained control of Dead Cell winning over Colonel Golukovic's outfit. From there, he bided his time, knowing that his opportunity would soon arrive. What opportunity? The completion of the new Metal Gear project, an opportunity that would even his odds against the Patriots. By stealing the Patriots' most valued project, he would be able to place them in a very uncomfortable position. It's the only chance he has for survival. Once he has the new Metal Gear, He'll declare war against the Patriots. Needless to say, he must be stopped. Metal Gear is already operational. No, not yet. Hmm? What you saw was Metal Gear Ray, hijacked two years ago from the Marines by Ocelot. That was not the new Metal Gear. Then where's the new Metal Gear? Right here. What? You're standing in it. To be more precise, this entire Big Shell facility is the new Metal Gear. Would you say? No, I'm quite serious. The upper structure that you've seen is camouflage, designed to represent an offshore cleanup facility. The main structure extends from the foundation all the way down to the ocean floor. The connecting elevator is located on the B2 floor of the Shell 1 core. Arsenal Gear. That's the code name for the new Metal Gear. Arsenal? Oh, Arsenal Gear? That's Ooh, right. Arsenal. We're okay. about an impregnable fortress carrying a load of over a couple of thousand missiles, including nuclear warheads. What a twist. All protected by a horde of mass-produced Metal Gear Ray units. 
mass-produced. The Ray unit was originally designed for the Marines to be used as a countermeasure. So that's why Metal Gear Ray went underwater with Solidus. The world. He took the him Patriots down to the big Ray boy. Redesigned to protect the new Arsenal gear. So now anti-Metal Gears are guarding a Metal Gear. Ironic, isn't it? That's not all. Arsenal Gear has full access to the military's tactical network, giving it the ability to exercise absolute control over our nation's armed forces, not to mention our nuclear armament. In short, Arsenal was created to be the core of our country. What kind of idiotic weapon? Weapon? No. You're not seeing the full picture. Hmm? Arsenal Gear is more than just a military tool. It is a means to preserve the world as it is. It will establish a new form of control. The Patriots will use it to keep their place as the country's true rulers. Right now, they feel pressured and threatened. By what? They fear an overabundance of digital information. The world will drown in the coming flood of information, and they along with it. Hmm. The Arsenal plan God, this is so relevant. Digitally manage the flow of information, making it possible to shape the truth for their own purposes. In short, the Arsenal system is the key to their supremacy. The key? Yes. The GW system is the Patriots' trump card. Arsenal gear will be fully operational when GW is successfully integrated. Once operational, it will be a completely new form of power for the Patriots to wield. I had hoped to seize the project from them, so that I would be in a strong bargaining position. Bargain for what? I'd hoped to trade my way into their ranks, but Solidus preferred rebellion. Outer Heaven, his plan to unleash a nuclear blast over the skies of Wall Street to break the Patriots' control over the business community, is also a key factor in his offensive effort. Outer Heaven? Listen, there isn't much time. The football served as the key for activating Arsenal gear. I've already input the necessary code sequence. It won't be long before GW begins to establish connections with other external systems and Arsenal gear becomes fully operational. Stop them before that happens. That is your role. Role? You've got to find Emma Emmerich. She's the only one who can stop that thing once it's been activated. Emma Emmerich? She's the system programmer for Arsenal Gear. I believe she's somewhere on level B1 in the core of this building. I thought the levels below us were flooded. I'm sure they won't let her die just yet, as she's the only remaining programmer for this project. According to Ocelot, she was being held in a locker room located in the northwest part of level B1. Cut transmission and get moving. This is card four. It'll give you access all the way to Emma's location. Give this to her when you find her. What is it? A program for disrupting the control functions between GW and Arsenal Gear. Take Emma to the computer room on level B2, Shell 1 core. She'll know how to load the program into the main system. A virus? That's right, modeled after fox dye. A biological weapon designed to selectively eliminate personnel with a specific genetic code. But why do you have it? The Patriots had it engineered as a failsafe. And Ocelot forgot to search me. You've got to hurry. That disc is the only way you're going to stop Arsenal. Well, I've told you everything you need to know. There's only one thing that remains to be done. Huh. He's gonna kill himself. Now, kill me. What the? There's no time to argue. The final check for my vital ID will start any second. If you kill me now, you'll at least prevent the nuclear strike. Cut it out! Uh, do it! That's her role! Ah. Oh. No! Good. That's abusing your right to free speech, Mr. President. Or is it ex-president? The president! Why did you- Ah, oh, he shot him. Alas, my finger must have slipped. God damn. I'll see you around, carrier boy. 
What? Don't forget him. He did us a favor. Without free will, there is no difference between submission and rebellion. My only real choice is to put an end to this charade. Let me at least have the freedom to end it myself. What are you? Find Emma. Stop Arsenal. This is my last order as your commander in chief. I'm counting on you. <sighs> that was the best scene in the game so far. That was fucking amazing. Um, that was so relevant. So, so much of that, dude. Like, the fact that, like, I don't really care much for, like, military talk on, and stuff like that. Like, that, this stuff doesn't really interest me. But the way that Kojima puts it in a story, and he writes about it, and he talks about the stuff, uh, makes it very interesting. And I really like it. Uh, that whole scene was great. The way that they're talking about stuff is, uh, stands the test of time. Uh, I really like, I really like how Kojima writes. I mean, he probably wasn't the only writer, obviously, but, you know, I really like how this game has been put together. Obviously by multiple people, not just one man, but you, you know, it's easy to just go, Kojima, uh, the, the disrespect of picking up the president's body. I had to, I had to try it. <laughs> I had to just drag his head on the, on the floor. I'm sorry, man. I couldn't leave without without passing up this opportunity. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> but um, I really liked I really liked that scene. That was great. Um, very interesting that Revolver Ocelot was like, you know what? Let's just uh, let's just shoot him, and then we'll and then we'll leave. So that was uh, that was very interesting. And then he goes, alright, see you later. So, what I wanted to talk about was, I know that from the ending of the first game, uh, Solidus was the president, because uh, Ocelot was, like, talking to him, and I was like, oh, wow. And then I got confused, because then it started talking about George Sears, and that, and, like, this game can be an information overload, so I probably, like, maybe the connection has already been made that George Sears was Solidus or not, I cannot remember, but... Um, it makes it makes a lot more sense. That whole cutscene was great because it was a really cool recap and info dump on the background of the first game and how that ties into now. Um, so Solidus's involvement with the first game and his motivations for what he's doing now and all of this stuff, really good scene, really well communicated, not confusing at all, and I mean that. That was a, a very good way to sit here and get like, here's your catch up from the president who actually explains what you need to know, and now you need to do this. Because the Metal Gear that you thought was the Metal Gear is not the Metal Gear at all. It's just one of many. Colonel, the president is dead. I see. I'm sorry to hear that. Where do we go from here? Wouldn't you be more the upset? to rescue the president and eliminate the terrorist threat. However, given the recent turn of events, we will honor the president's last directive. You must put a stop to Arsenal gear once and for all. Do you actually think there's any truth to his story about this big shell facility being a front for Arsenal gear? I don't have the security clearance necessary to verify the facts. However, he was the president. I'm sure he knew what he was talking about. Aren't you forgetting that he was part of the terrorist plot? All the more reason why I believe his information is reliable. Huh? We're talking about a man who chose to die rather than risk a nuclear holocaust. Thanks to his sacrifice, the Nuclear Launch Authority has shifted to the Vice President, effectively eliminating the terrorist threat. Colonel, when you put it like that, it almost sounds like I should have assassinated the President to eliminate the threat. That was not my intention. I was trying to point out that there is certainly some credibility to the words of a man who chose death to protect the innocent. The Colonel has a point, Jack. What about the information he gave me on the Patriots? That's a new one on me. I'll see what I can find out. <sighs> Raiden, we're running out of time. Find Emma. She's supposed to be located on level B1, in the core of that building you're in, right? <sighs> You've got to find her before Arsenal becomes fully operational. Hurry, Jack. It's up to you to make sure that the President didn't sacrifice his life in vain. Understood. 
Raiden out. The Colonel just doesn't know stuff, man. What's your status, Raiden? Snake, the President, he's been assassinated. What? There was nothing I could do. What about the nuclear strike code sequence? He died before his vital ID could be reconfirmed. Then the enemies lost their nuclear strike capability. But that Ocelot guy obviously killed the President on purpose. Why? It doesn't make any sense. They had to know that they couldn't launch the nuke if they killed the President. Maybe there's a way to launch without reconfirming the vital ID. No. Nah. Maybe they found a more effective weapon within Arsenal gear. You knew about Arsenal gear? Ocelot's got yeah. his own thing. Why didn't you tell me about it? You never I mean, asked. Am yes. I correct in assuming you also know that the Big Shell's a front for the project? You mean, did I know that the Big Shell, a fully functional environmental cleanup facility, was designed to camouflage Arsenal <laughs> gear? Yeah, I did. It's exactly what the President and Ames described, a massive cover story. The good news is that it hasn't really done much in terms of cleaning up the environment, so we won't have to worry about any toxic gas being released if we have to blow the house down. Right. And when did you find out about all of this? It took a while, but we uncovered the info around the time you took out that mad bomber. <sighs> There's no doubt that our okay. gear is being built here. And it was all set up two years ago, on that day. All of it. Two years ago? What really happened here? I took these photos two years ago. I know these pictures. They were on the news on several websites. If I remember right, the reporters blamed you for sinking the tanker. That's right. Otacon, me, we were used. We'd hoped that by going public with photos of the new Metal Gear, we could persuade the government. At least that was the plan at the time. I've gone through VR training of the tanker mission before. Yeah? Well, I doubt it accurately simulates the events of that mission. I'd infiltrated the dummy tanker to obtain proof that a Metal Gear was under development. Shortly after I made it aboard, an armed group led by Colonel Gerlukovich raided the ship and gained control. Olga and Ocelot were among the raiding party. Yeah, and him. Who are you talking about? A man that was supposed to be dead. Their target was also Metal Gear Ray. But Ocelot eliminated Colonel Gerlukovich and Marine Commander Scott Dolph, and he hijacked Ray. So he betrayed them? I don't know what kind of deal was going down. All I remember is what Ocelot said at the time. Something like, I'm taking it back. Ocelot then sank the tanker, along with the soldiers of the Marine Corps. Good recap. I was there. How did you manage to get out? Otacon managed to have a small boat ready for me. That was the easy part. The tough part was not getting dragged down with a sinking tanker. A small miracle when you think about it. It turned out that the whole thing was a setup to lure us. Photos of Snake, taken by the Cypher, were released to uh, the public. Yeah, true. In turn, we became the world's most wanted environmental terrorists. It was definitely a move aimed at putting a stop to our anti-Metal Gear activities. But why did they choose Snake? Since the Shadow Moses incident, Snake became sort of a hero. I think the Patriots weren't too happy about that. You knew about the Patriots? <laughs> well, yes. To a I've seen this. It seems like this is from the this is from the trailer. They didn't choose Snake to be a hero. This is from the E3 trailer. It was so cool. Campaign. But I think the Patriots wanted to make an example of him, so everybody would think twice before opposing them. So much shooting and fighting in that trailer, which is so funny for a stealth game. Guys. <laughs> no, there's more to it than that. The Marines' Metal Gear Ray project, headed by Commander Dolph, was carried out in opposition to the Navy's Arsenal Gear project. Anti-Metal Gear. To be more precise, the Patriots considered Ooh. Metal Gear Ray to be a thorn in their side. Hence, they attacked the dummy tanker and stole Ray. They followed this up with a perfect plan. They immediately sent a fully loaded tanker to the same location and sank it. Then set up the facility to camouflage the development of Arsenal gear. Ooh. And we fell for it. Two more puppets in their show. Snake keeps falling for these plans, man. First Shadow Colonel Moses, Grilukovich now the tanker. And his daughter Olga? Both fell victim to Ocelot's plot. Was Solidus behind all this? He used Ocelot to get hold of Ray, huh? No, 
He was underground, keeping a low profile at the time. Yeah, Ocelot did this on his own. Must be the Patriots. If that's the case, what's Ocelot doing alongside Solidus? Hmm. Betrayal. Ocelot's playing so many sides, dude. I actually get confused Forget at how many sides he's playing. Time. We can figure this out later. The nuclear strike's been prevented, but Arsenal still has a massive payload of missiles to deal with. Right. If the opposition gets control of those missiles... Raiden, you've got to find Emma. Wait a second. Isn't Emma Emmerich... Yes. ...my sister? What's she doing here? You got me. She's a computer whiz who specializes in neural AI and ultra-variable volume data analysis using complex logic. How she got involved in weapons development is beyond me. Hmm. Whatever her reasons, we need her in order to stop Arsenal. Raiden, find her. I'm on my way. Cool. I was going to say something, but I forgot. And that is the problem with the long codec calls sometimes, is I get something that I want to talk about that happens within the call, and then I it slips my, slips my brain. Uh, but, very, very cool stuff. So, we're going to go find... We're going to go find Emma, because we've now got the level 4 key. So I'm assuming we'll go down the elevator and then we'll check her out. That's broken. Okay. I might save when we get down here as well. Talk to, talk to Rose some more. And she can go, hey Jack, I know you're busy, you know, dealing with all of this crazy conspiracy and all these cover-ups and all these different, uh, different people and everything. I know that you're just like, you know, having a real tough time, but like, could you do me a favor and remind me what tomorrow is going to be, please? Just tell me what tomorrow is going to be, Jack. What's going to happen tomorrow? Because... Don't you think I'm beautiful? I know you just witnessed the president get murdered, but like, I'm beautiful, aren't I, Jack? How do I... How do I get to that little blinking s square? Raiden, are you reading me? This is Otacon. What's your situation? Taking a swim. Wet and miserable. This place is flooded. The seawater that's been pumped up is pouring into the building. I see. Listen, there's something I have to tell you about EE. E. Don't worry about her. I'll get her out. She's afraid of water. What? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> when she was six years old, she almost drowned with my father in our swimming pool. God damn it. She can't swim? Well, yes and no. We used to swim a lot together when we were kids. In fact, she swam like a fish until that day when she almost drowned. Great. When the accident happened, I was in my room. I learned later that E.E. E. was calling me for help. She didn't doubt for a minute that I'd be there. You could see the pool from my room, but I didn't realize at the time that she needed my help. What were you doing? I... I was... So Emma survived the ordeal. Yeah, but my father didn't. So you blamed yourself and left your family? No. E.E. E. seems to believe that was the case. The fact is, I betrayed her. And you think she can't swim because of the traumatic experience? I haven't seen her since that day, but yes, I think so. I got a letter from Julie, her mother, after they moved back to England. In her letter, she mentioned that E.E. E. couldn't swim anymore, that she refused to even wear a bathing suit. Damn. If she still can't swim, we're in trouble. Level B1 in the core is pretty much flooded. Look, maybe you can help her overcome the trauma. You want me to help her get over it? Well, it's still gonna take some time to repair the camera. Swimming lessons Sorry, with Emma. Emma's rescue is up to you. Thanks. An underwater mission. Well, this is a first. Look, I'll see what I can do. I suggest that you drum the map of the building into your head, because you won't have time to look at it when you try to bring Emma out. I'm counting on you, Raiden. I covered most of the core when I had to take out the C4s. If there's anything you need to ask me, call me on the Kodak. I'll do that. Oh no, hang on. 
that um, that blinking square is um, the the node. I'm pretty sure. Gonna get one of these doors open. Yep, I know. Um, so I've taken my time here. <laughs> right. So as soon as we get Emma out, we're gonna have to remember exactly where we are and how to get out. But we can call Snake for for help. So I gotta find a. Down this way? Alright, we got mines. Oh, there's. Hang on. There's the opportunity to heal myself. I mean, get more air. Yep, 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 yep. Cool. Alright, cool. So, right here, we got two doors. Did I choose the right door? Jesus. Ah, oh, it's Stillman. Oh my God. Jesus Christ. Um, that's unfortunate because this is the part that blew up. Oh, buddy. All right, let's get some air. Oh, that's grim. Hey, Stillman. Can I talk to anyone about that? <laughs> Emma's probably being kept in filter chamber number two on floor B1 of Shell 2's core. Swim as far west as you can, then head north and you should reach filter chamber number two. Goddamn underwater level, dude. Where's my underwater music? My cliche. Underwater music. I'm trying to get a dam. Um, so we've opened that door. Can we open this door then? I'm wasting so much time here. <laughs> oh, it's so awkward. Right. Give me, give me oxygen back. All right, let's open this one. Okay, I'm assuming. All right, it doesn't want to open, so it's locked. All right. Well, we'll refresh, and then we we make our journey. So off we go. Okay, so we get little pockets here and there. I think this was only a pocket of air. Yeah. Because. That's a dead end, so quickly. Why is there so much blood coming from there as well? Oh my god. Underwater missions are just, they're just never fun, dude. They're just never fun. Oh my god. Yep. Brute forcing our way through here. Sting a bullet. Yep. This is gonna be fun when we have to memorize the, the layout. Okay. Yep, and then go down here, open the door. Uh, yeah. Please, thank you. Okay, I'm assuming this door is locked. Got it so weird that you can walk. Aha! Wonderful. Level four.
Okay, so not only can he run on water, he can just levitate. Oh, he's in here. He can just. Unfortunately, him have no vacancies. <laughs> oh, he's gonna give us a dance. Ooh, how do we kill this guy, dude? <laughs> I thought so. Blow him up with a rocket launcher. Grenade launcher time, baby. Human muscles are quite eloquent. They speak out clearly what a person's next move will be. They even tell me which way a gun is going to be pointed before the trigger is pulled. But your muscles, they're different. This should be fun. Well worth the wait. <laughs> you knew I was coming? You've become a nuisance. I can't let you interfere with Arsenal gear. Has he got a knife where his dick would be? On his pants? The girl is just ahead. She is of no use to us now. But she served as well as the live bait for the big catch. Crazy Ivan sometimes speaks the truth. Crazy Ivan. He's got a... He's got a... Emma's alive? Knife she on his pants. Some time ago. But the flooding has become quite serious. I wouldn't be surprised if she's a mermaid now. What? Did you really think killing the president would prevent a nuclear strike? Think again. I didn't do it. <laughs> Arsenal is still armed with a purified hydrogen bomb. Purified hydrogen bomb? Purified hydrogen bomb? This is no ordinary nuclear bomb. This weapon is capable of heavy hydrogen nuclear fusion using lasers and magnetics to generate heat insulated compression. It was a top secret project initiated by the current president, and Solidus has no idea of its existence. The clean thermonuclear bomb is at an experimental stage and is handled differently. Specifically, it becomes launch capable when Arsenal is activated. A nuclear threat still exists. Six months ago, we lost everything we believed in. We were abandoned to take the fall in their cover-up. We were labeled as killers, responsible for the mass murder of civilians, as well as our own allies. And the public believed every word, turning a deaf ear to whatever we had to say to the contrary. Our only goal is to wipe them from the face of the earth and destroy this world of deceit they have created along with them. You're insane. Insane? We might be the only ones telling the truth. Final check for activating Arsenal has been completed. All Arsenal personnel report to your stations. Well, it sounds like Arsenal's ready to go into operation. Damn it! You're still hoping that the girl can install that virus you're carrying around, aren't you? You know? <sighs> it's a shame you're not going to be around long enough to hand her the program. That isn't seawater, you know. It's a byproduct of the microbes contained in the pool. Buoyancy is practically non-existent thanks to the high oxygen content. Once you walk in, you don't come up. Take a good look at your grave. Show me what you've got. It's your grave, buddy. Uh, that's what I was quickly. That's what I was quickly going to mention. Is I just had like this feeling, like when he gives us the mo disc, which is very similar to the one from the first game. I was just like, they're like, oh, upload the virus, and then I'm just like, get to the end of the game, and you upload it. It's like, haha, you actually uploaded the program that so that <laughs> allows us to launch the bomb. Because you're a puppet, just like you were in the first game as Snake. Okay, so... Vamp's levitating. Ah! Wrong! But he can... He, but he can go under the water. So I was like, well, maybe we could drown him. But dude literally is just floating on it. Oh my god, why does he walk like that? And how the hell do we kill this guy? 
Alright, shall we learn? He throws knives at me. Vamp oxygen. He's got an oxygen level. What are you doing down there, buddy? Ah, I almost fell in. Um, I don't like how the M4 only, like... Oh, God. The M4 only, like, aims when you're shooting. Like, if I go first person, and as soon as I press... Oh, no, I can press the left stick to aim. Oh! Where are you? Yeah. That's right, I kind of, um, wasted a lot of bullets there. No, no, no! Ugh, I dodged too close to the... Yeah! Alright. <laughs> I need to stop just dodging when I don't need to, because otherwise I'm just going to dodge right into the pool of water. Ah, you can shoot him when he's underwater, cool. Cool. He was like hanging onto the wall. What the hell? Oh, he's moving quick now, boy. I need to be faster than this. No, I jumped. I didn't mean to double tap A that time. Picked up M9 bullets. Oh, could you? Wait a minute. <gasps> Wait a minute. Oh, hang on. He's got a... he's got a... Yes. He has, uh... He, he has a... Pink health bar, which I am now taking down. Hello. No! Oh. We figured it out. We can tranquilize that dude, and then he can drown underwater. We have, we have, uh, we have a tactic here. Yeah. No. In the head, baby. Yeah. Only two more rations, and I'm scared that I'm gonna waste it. Palms are sweaty, baby. Palms are sweaty. You gonna trap me? Oh, hang on. Oh my god, he's so close, dude. He's so... He's gonna go full aggro on me now. He's so close. This is ridiculous. He's one hit away. How do we get him at this point? Like, this is just scary. <gasps> I just did a lucky shot! I just went whoop boop! <laughs> Tranquilized, baby! And then you drown. I'm so glad that I figured figured out that he can get tranquilized. That's how you die, baby. You drown. That was difficult. I'm really glad that I figured out to use the tranquilizer because 
I would have just kept trying to shoot him and do damage and getting his health down, and that would have just taken me so much longer. Woo, baby. Drowned. Colonel, they've apparently completed the final check procedure for Arsenal gear. Find Emma on the double. You've got to get her to install the virus program that the president gave you. When you find her, take her to the computer room on level B2 in the core of Shell 1. Yes. Snake, did you catch all that? I didn't make it on time. Arsenal's going active. Yeah, I heard. The hostage rescue's gonna have to wait. I'm going after Emma. We'll secure the computer room. Looks like we can't install the virus program without Emma. Can't your partner do it? I would if I could, but the security for this system is no joke. I need more time. That's why we need her. Understood. I'll make sure you have your family reunion. Uh, what's up? <laughs> A lot of years have passed between E.E. E. and me. Then you should see her, right? I don't have the right to see her. We can talk about this later. Raiden, I think you'd better get moving. Emma's in the locker room to the north, right? I'm on it. Wonderful. Pretty cool fight. Pretty pretty interesting um, interesting mechanics, and definitely the mo one of the most difficult ones that I've had to do because I actually was burning through rations. <laughs> ah, thank you. Um, so yeah, very very cool. Okay, so we're still going through flooded area. So she's not just on the other side. And okay, this is what he was talking about when he said, "Be careful. You're gonna have to map this out." Uh, in your head because no map which means I'm also going to have to very uh, also gonna have to pay a lot of attention to look for the sunspots oh, oh this is this is uh, yep oh yep okay yes some tranquilizer bullets for the sniper who's putting mines in here <laughs> Like, yes, let's put mines in here when it floods. Oh, yeah, I can see how this is going to get confusing. Okay. Yeah, interesting. I can see how this is going to get confusing. Body armor. Cool. Nice. Let's check that on. Cool. So that one's a bust, that one's a bust. And we'll try in here now. Gotta be careful when entering a, a door. Ah, uh, I think this is where I came from. Yeah. This is not where I came from. Cool. And this is proof that I have no idea where I am. Well, map. We have map. Great. Cool. We have anti-shake juice. Oh, this is the locker room, right? She's right in here. Alright, cool. Well, uh, before I get her, and I have to then go through the, the trauma... the trauma lessons <laughs> of... Uh, how to swim. I uh, want to check out the rest of this place first, just to make sure that I've got everything. And then we can just focus on escorting her straight out. Okay, what is this? AK-47U, we're already full of that, so that's okay. And that's where we... This must be where we came from, which means I just completely ignored that room. Yes, I did. All right, I actually remember where I am now. This is a pretty straightforward, um, this is pretty straightforward actually, this room. Not as, it's way more, it's way bigger when you don't have a map. You go, ah. <laughs> cool. All right. Let's have a chat to EE. E. Let's check every other locker first. Cool. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. I wonder what Emma's thinking right now is like all the doors except hers get opened. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. Alright, cool. Interesting. Okay. Hello. 
Emma. Why the gun, man? Why is it always the gun when you know you're looking for a friendly? Like, you're always just like, yeah. Are you all right? <laughs> After putting a gun in your face. Who are you? Think you need a hug? E. What? Jennifer Hale. I'm getting you out of here. Get me out! You're lying. Where are you taking me this time? What are you talking about? I'm here to help. I'm here with your brother. Here, I'll prove it. Do you have nanos? What? Well, do you? I do. Everybody on this project has them. Okay, good. Let's try. Can you hear me now? Nano communication? That's right. I have nano machines too. Then you're not one of them. That's what I've been trying to tell you. <laughs> and you came to rescue me? Actually, I need your help to stop Arsenal. I understand you're the only one who might be able to do it. And who told you that? The president. Really? I need you to come with me to Shell One. Your brother's waiting for you there. My brother? That's right. Uh, that doesn't seem good. Come on, good. we have to get moving. This place will be flooded soon. Why the slow mo? Why the slow mo? Okay, no significance to the slow mo. I was like, she about to get fox died. No significance to the slow mo. Oh yes, hey. So about that swimming. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. You're going to be swimming with me now. Leave me. You can swim. You used to love it. How do you know? <laughs> Your brother told me. He's really here? That's right. He's here to rescue you. I don't believe you. He would never come for me. And I'm telling you he's here. Waiting for us at Shell One. No! He left me, my mother, when we needed him the most. When my father died, all he could think about was himself. Emma, we can go over all that later. But first, we have to get out of here. No! I hate water! It's hopeless! I can't swim! I can't swim! You can do it! I can't! Come on, deep down inside, you know you can swim. I can't keep my eyes open in the water. Endless blue. The water, it, it wants me. It won't let me go. All right, then close your eyes. I'll guide you. I, I, I was injected with something. My, my legs. I have trouble moving them. Listen, Emma, just hold your breath. I'll do the rest. First, we'll head to filter chamber two. Then we'll take a break. And all I have to do is hold my breath. That's right. How long? Just a little And then we'll go for a swim in filter chamber sure? two. Of course I'm sure. That's how I got here. I, I don't think I can do it. I'm not good at holding my breath. Look, Emma, I have an idea. Put your ear against my chest and listen to my heartbeat. Your heartbeat? Count the beats. Don't think about anything else. When you reach 100, open your eyes. By that time, we'll be on the other side. Give me a signal if you think you're running out of breath. What will you do then? I'll swim faster. Alright, cool. Let's -a go! Hang on tight. Okay, let's go. I'm closing my eyes. Take some deep breaths. One, two, three. Wait. <laughs> what is it? Uh, let me take off my glasses. You know, you should wear contacts. There's nothing wrong with my eyes. Hmm? Huh? I wear them for show. Trying to be different from the other girls? No, it's not like that. I like glasses. And there's this guy I liked who used to wear them. Your first boyfriend? No. Somebody more important. Anyway, they bring me luck. I see. 
Okay, let's go. All right, let's do it, baby. Going for a swim. All right. Come on, swim. <laughs> don't, don't drive. Don't drive Emma into the mine. Nice and easy. See how easy was that? Oh, you press the triangle button to... Okay. I was wondering what that animation was, because so, I was trying to talk to her. So you just drag her in. <laughs> Scene break, baby. You did good. I concentrated on your heartbeat. It reminded me of when I was a kid. I remember my brother giving me a piggyback ride. I was sleeping with my ear against his back. I could hear his heartbeat. Sounds like you were close. We were, back then. We were stepchildren in our parents' second marriages. Wherever my brother went, I used to tag along. My brother didn't have any close friends, so he used to take care of me. We both wanted to be loved so much. So much that we used to pretend. Pretend? Yeah, we used to play house. My brother was the husband and I was the wife. But it was always just make-believe. We were only kids. You know what I mean. I never had a family, but I think I know what you mean. Hold on, I gotta take this. <laughs> hey, uh... Bryden, what's your status? Colonel! Colonel? Emma's talking about here. me and her brother's wife. To avoid drowning. Good job. Get her over to Shell One as soon as you can. Let's, Let's play house, step bro. Bridge on the upper level destroyed. Didn't Olga say something about taking the oil fence at the bottom of Strut L? Yeah, I remember that. You should be able to go down by way of Strut L. Try and get over there. What about Emma? <sighs> She's been injected with something and she can't walk without any help. Take her with you. Free your hands of any equipment and hold down the action button to give her a hand. Alrighty. To release your grip on her, take your finger off the action button. Emma can sit and wait until you help her back up. Okay. And be careful. You won't be able to use any weapons while you're leading her. Now head for Strut L. I didn't know that I could... Oh, I can move. Oh, I can move both of them. I didn't know that I could move the portraits with my thumbsticks. It's the first well, time I've touched my controller. The computer room. What's your situation? What is the Emma's purpose of this? We're heading your way. Oh, good oh, job. Good job. Shell one's deserted. Looks like everybody's aboard Arsenal. I had a look at the system, but there's nothing I can do. EE's our only hope. Right. I'll put her on then. Huh? EE? -E? How? I'll use my Kodak as a relay. Uh. <clears throat> Here she is. Uh, how? Uh. EE, -E, is that you? How? EE. -E. Um. Why are you involved with Metal Gear? Huh? You knew our family's dark history and still got involved? What's wrong with you? I should have known. Answer me. Why are you repeating the same mistake? I... I wanted to hurt you. I wanted to see you suffer. E.E.? -E? You abandoned me. No, that's not what happened. All right. That's enough. <sighs> Who are you? I'm a friend of Otacon's, Emma. Otacon? Enough with the sibling rivalry. That's not what this is. We haven't got time for this. Raiden, get her over here right now. I... I... Gotcha, Snake. I'll head over there with Emma. Most of the enemies aboard Arsenal, but I suggest you be careful. Make sure Emma gets here in one piece. Raiden, take care of my sister. Don't worry. I'll get her there. All right. Well, we are going into EE Escort Mission. 
So that's always fun. First they give us the underwater mission, and then they said, you know what, would be fun if after the underwater mission you have the escort mission, and uh, some sometimes a bit at the same time. So I'm going to leave the escort mission until next episode. So this is a good opportunity to take a break. A lot happened this episode. So we'll continue on with the third episode later this week. So thank you so much guys for watching and I'll see you next time.